Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today. I got a message from somebody. And uh, hold on, let me turn down my microphone a little bit. I think it's a little bit loud. Alright, so I got a message from somebody when I was offline and I was gone all Sunday. And this is on a, this is on a Sunday. And they told me to record... Um, What's it called? They told me to record me before I logged in. So I'm pretty sure I got pranked. I'm not really sure what happened. And they just, when I asked them what they did, they just gave me a bunch of winky faces. Uh, so we're going to kind of just see what happens. Hold on, my, my client is lagging. All right, we're going to see what happens. Hopefully nothing, nothing too scary. I don't even remember where I logged off. So we're going to see where we are. All right. All right, it looks like they built the house. Or more of spawn. It looks like they built more of spawn, so nothing too, nothing too fancy. Just adding more walls. Oh god, that means they must have pranked my, my f home. Or not my f home. I'm talking about factions. Oh, they must have pranked my house. No, <laughs> my hard worked house. Time out. No. <laughs> please tell me. Please tell me this isn't so. Oh jeez. Oh, geez. I'm scared. I'm scared to go through this portal. I'm gonna block just because what if there's like mobs and mobs inside there? I don't know. Oh god. Oh sh oh god. Oh, oh god. Alright. Alright, what did they do? What did they do? Is is there anything here? I don't I don't I don't see anything. Did they did they mess with my villagers? No. What? <laughs> did they prank me? Are they making me record this for no reason? There's no one on the server right now, which is kind of scary because there's usually people on at the time. It looks like they didn't mess with any of my farms. Um, my wheat farm is okay. My chicken farm is okay. What did they do? They didn't do anything. Wait, did, I didn't look at my shop. Oh, God. I didn't look at my shop. Oh, I should have turned around. I should have been the first thing I did. <laughs> No, it can't be my shop. My beautiful first shop. No way. Okay. No, no. I, I don't think they actually did anything. Maybe they're just trolling me. Cause, woo! Look at look at Nobum's tunnel looking nice over here. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh God! Please not the shop. <laughs> I spent so much time building my shop. No, no, no. All right. What did they do? Please tell me. What? Oh, what? <laughs> What is that? What? That might... Okay, my shop better be inside there. Oh my... Oh my god. What is this? Signs. Fragile. Open with care. D fields box. Contents of box will be destroyed if box is broken. Okay. Well, I think they expect me to open from the front. So I'm, go I'm gonna go from the side. I'm gonna go from the side. Is there an opening? Is there is there a weak spot that I can? What the? It's like a present. It's like it's like wooden chains. Here's an opening. All right. I don't know if this is safe, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna open it from right here. Okay. My shop is gone. What? Why are this chest up there? What the, what the hell is that? Where is my shop? All the material rise, okay, look up. I told you not to break the box. <laughs> Maybe you should reposition. <laughs> my shop is gone, what? <laughs> what the heck, where's all my stuff? My stuff better be up here. My stuff better be up here. Oh, <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> is my stuff up? I can't even open it. There's a friggin' uh, cobblestone at the top. My stuff is in there. <laughs> I can't even open half of these because there's cobblestone on top of it. What the heck is this? There's my irony. <laughs> oh my god. Dylan and Kyle. Oh my god. You guys are going to pay dearly for this. It was Dylan who messaged me to start recording. Ooh. Ooh, that's very mean. I don't even know what to think. Dylan, you're rebuilding my shop. That took me so long. Oh. What the heck? All right, well, well, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to feel right now. I don't know. I don't know if I should feel. I should just leave this here. You know what? I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this at my shop. Or I'm gonna. This is gonna be my shop until they rebuild it for me. Because I am not. I'm not spending the time rebuilding this shop. What the heck? 
<laughs> what kind of prank does this? What kind of prank removes an entire house? What the heck, guys? I don't even know. It's like it looks. It looks like a birthday present or something, or like a, a like a locked chain box. I guess I think that's what it is, because this is like the. This is like the lock, and that's like a key going inside the lock. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I got pranked. No. Oh, I'm going to get you guys back. Don't you worry. All right, guys. I'm going to pause the video right here. I do have some video plans. I actually have some plans pranking uh, another person tonight. So I'm going to get the rest of that stuff ready while... Um What's it called? While I do that, so we're going to pause the video. I can't believe I got pranked. They're going to pay for this, guys. They're going to pay for this. All right, but... Well... <laughs> I'll be right back. I opened up my lockbox and I came to nothing inside. <laughs> be right back and uh, we'll, we'll get to another prank that I'm going to do with somebody else tonight. I'm not really sure who we're doing it on yet, but we'll see. So we will be back shortly. Hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed me getting pranked. Oh, there's Dadawood. Oh, Dadawood, I'm going to kill you. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we are back, and as you can see here, we are in a desert. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get ready for this prank, and um, I actually did record a prank that Sunday night uh, to get back at uh, another one of the Rise SMP members, but I actually decided that it wasn't good enough. It was like the quality of the video wasn't good enough to actually upload to you guys. So I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I could do some editing and release that other prank in another video. But for this video, guys, we are going to mine up nine quick sack quick stacks sorry quick sacks what the heck and we're gonna mine up nine stacks of sand right here and we are gonna glass somebody's house so I saw this in one of the comments you guys should have said that uh, obsidian would be very very hard to collect because it does take a long time to collect obsidian but another user mentioned that glass cannot be broken any faster using any type of tool even if you have because obsidian obs if a lot of the peoples here on Rise already have like efficiency four pickaxes. So if I did obsidian, they'd end up cleaning that up, you know, pretty fairly, fairly easily. So you know what? I, I'm going to take it a little bit slower. I'm going to take it down a step and I'm going to get glass. So what we're going to do is, as you guys can see here, I'm in the desert and we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. We need nine stacks of glass. So we're going to see how much stuff nine stacks of glass is actually is. And we are going to prank Kyle for breaking uh, my house. I actually rebuilt my house already because I am recording this a couple of days after the actual uh, prank they did on me. So uh, we're going to we're going to be pranking Kyle because Kyle was the mastermind behind my disappearing uh, my disappearing house, as you guys saw in the in the previous or the in the earlier clip today. So yeah, we're gonna get some uh, sand here, and we're planning on. I'm gonna plan on smelting all these into glass. So I'm probably not gonna make you guys wait through that entire, like through that entire episode, just to smelt glass. But I'm probably gonna pause it after I collect the sand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that looks like that's ten stacks. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna smelt all of the sand. As you guys can see, it was pretty. It was actually pretty easy collecting all that because I have an efficiency. I have an efficiency three shovel. I can't talk right now because I'm like <laughs> recording late at night, so we're kind of just uh, kind of just chilling and uh, playing some rides. There's nobody else online, which makes this the perfect time to uh, do a prank. So here we go, gonna be pranking Datawood tonight. And uh, yeah, so you Datawood and Kyle are not Kyle and Dylan. I can't even talk as you guys can see. Kyle and Dylan are going to pay for all the trouble like I literally had to rebuild my shop guys and it took me a good four maybe five hours just to plan everything out make sure everything was okay so it, the shop like basically looks the same it's just a little bit changed I like added the another floor to it sort of like I added another layer but uh, it's basically the same type of layout so as you guys can see um, Ooh, our nether hub is actually being built. I didn't even notice this. So uh, our nether hub is slowly getting built. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. And we are just going to continue. So we're going to go back home. I'm going to pause the video. Actually, no, not yet. Let's get back home real quickly. We'll see what we what loots we, ha we got from uh, the past uh, mining episode that you guys might have just watched. And let us see. So let us... Uh, we're going to put everything... We're going to put nine stacks, as you guys can see here. Ooh, now I have even more glass. We're going to put nine stacks into all of my furnaces here. My small little furnace wall. 
and we are going to just bombard somebody's base with stacks and stacks and stacks of glass. So Kyle is going to pay for all the, the, the troubles that he caused. I haven't really visited Kyle's base yet, like uh, officially, because I haven't. So I don't really know what kind of base he has. I heard he has some type of big tree house. Uh, sort of thing so we're, we'll kind of go look at that so yeah we're gonna pause the video right here guys while i wait for this uh, uh all this glass to smelt and we'll be right back and then we'll head on over to kyle's house and prank the mastermind of my disappearing shop so we'll be right back guys hope you guys are enjoying so far and uh, once again this is d field if you guys are enjoying so far make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and uh we'll be right back Alright guys, we are back, and as you can see here, the last of the sand is finishing up, and let us continue with our prank. Oh, this is going to be a good one, I already feel it. So we're going to see how Kyle's house looks like. I'm not really positive, I haven't really been there before, so we'll kind of see how everything goes out. Uh, since I do have extra inventory space, I'm going to take some of the produce that I have from uh, my house that I've stockpiled, and I'll go uh, restock my shop for the food that people do buy. So let's see how much we could take here. All right, let's just do that for right now. And so let's go restock our house. I'll show you guys what my fixed house looks like. It, it basically looks exactly the same. I just had to move it a little bit into the corner of the actual uh, spawn platform or our, uh, what's it called, our community house village platform. So nothing much, too much change. It's just really, it was really just, oh wow. They, everybody was basically getting settled in. People were... People were starting to just make their base and things of that nature. So as you guys can see, things are still being built. And uh, that's kind of what makes Rise really, really fun for me, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do still. Like, as you guys can see, this is our spawn. And there's almost nobody has a shop yet. Only Hyper Darkness and I have a shop currently. And here is my new shop, guys. New and improved. I did a little bit of modifications to it. As you guys can see, it's a little bit taller. So, uh, I mean, I guess the, the prank really was a pain in the butt, though, so props to them for coming up with that. It, it, <laughs> I don't know if it was really a good thing, but you know what? We have to we have to get payback, guys. Do I do I sell cooked potatoes here? Uh, baked potato. Here you go. All right, let's fill that up. All right. And then let's head on over to Kyle's house. Uh, Kyle told me two days ago that his hill is to the west of spawn. Uh, about a hundred blocks west and he says that he has a big like a big 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 tree So all we have to look for is a really big tree and we'll see what we can do with glass And I also bought a couple of stacks of a uh, nether rack and we'll see. Oh, there's the big tree I already see it. That is not a natural tree right there. So yeah, let's head on up this big hill Oh, that's a ravine. I remember that from my very very first episode and uh, let's head on up to this tree It looks like he's still in the process of building this tree so uh, let's see what we can do. I haven't really decided what we're going to do yet. If we're just going to mess around with his actual base. If we're going to mess around with his tree. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what his base looks like when we get up here. All right. So this is his house. It looks like he's got a small house here. He's got a big tree building here. What is this? Oh, this is his automatic chicken farm, I think. Is there a chicken farm down here? Yes, this is an automatic chicken farm, as you guys can see here. All right, what's he have over here? He's got a farm. I see something here. A big, 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 big. Oh, that is a big hole. Holy crap, Kyle. What were you doing? That might be his strip mine. I don't know why he mined in a, in a fashion like that. Is this his storage chest? Is there anything in here? I don't think there's even anything in here yet. All right, so he's got he's got some stuff in here. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to cover up this entire room with glass. And whatever we have left over, we're going to place it in random spots all over. Ooh, do these signs say anything? No, they do not. It looks like there's just a bunch of redstone here. Not really sure what's going on there. But anyways, let's continue <laughs> with this prank, guys. We're going to take his entire little mineshaft area here. And we are just going to fill it up with glass or just go crazy. We'll keep, we'll keep the torches. We'll be a little bit nice. It's not like he was being nice to me, but you know what? I'm a good guy. I'm not. I'm not too mean of a person. So let's see. Let's see how much we could fill in of, the, of his entire house here, filled with uh, as much glass as we can. 
and uh, we'll kind of see and wait for his reaction. I really want to watch his reaction video. This is actually going to take some time to clear up because if I'll show you guys really quickly, it does take a couple of seconds to actually mine glass and there's no fast way of breaking it. So I would be doing this with obsidian if I had uh, more of like obsidian or what's it called? Uh, efficiency 5 pickaxes, but I just don't have the time right now to uh, be mining this many like six seven stacks of obsidian as you guys can see I'm probably gonna end up using here uh, we're just gonna sort of glass up everything <laughs> this is actually really funny <laughs> we're gonna glass up everything here and I wish I had some blue carpet oh my I'm gonna get I'm gonna see if I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some blue carpet from Jack's house maybe at the end of this episode if I remember and we'll top it off by placing blue carpet at the very bottom of this ravine and maybe he'll fall for it and think that it's water down there and then we'll see we'll see what happens if he does happen to jump down and if he dies it's not my fault I put carpet as a decoration and if he falls for it <laughs> it's all in good fun right <laughs> Alright, here we go, guys. We are slowly building um, our glass, as you guys can see here. I'm going to leave this small pathway here so I can get to it a little bit later. I'm going to close this up over here, like so. I'm going to leave that there for now, and then I'm going to leave this open in case I remember to grab the blue wool later. And uh, let us cover. Oops, I'm going to need to leave this open here and put cover that up and there we go so we still have a lot of glass left as you guys can see so what should we do what should we do let's take his house up here or should we mess with his tree i don't know if i want to mess with data wood's tree look at his baby chickens oh they're so cute all right let's move on over let's see is there a way i can get up here all right let's just break this hopefully he doesn't mind too much and let's just put glass all over his house here we go guys let's fill up his house this looks like it's not a very he's not, he's not he doesn't have a very big house yet as you guys can see here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to fill up as much as we can every th single space that we can fill up in this small shack of his data woods shack is getting filled up with glass here we go all right there we go boom 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 Oh my god, from the outside, it doesn't look like anything happened because the glass, like, blends in. And he can't really see it. You can see the little parts right there, but you can't really see it. <laughs> Alright, now let's just take glass and let's see if we could go up his, uh... We're gonna go up his tree. <laughs> and just randomly place a piece... Oh, there's a spot here. What is this? It's like a little room. Okay, so let's let's take this glass and just put it everywhere see we'll, we'll, we'll annoy Kyle a little bit here hopefully he doesn't get too angry with me what the heck was that snow did I just see there what the heck was that let's put as much glass as we can in here <laughs> oh my god so the thing was uh, when I watched Kyle's prank video him and Dylan's prank video on me they, they, they had a little inside joke going on within themselves and they were like, oh, Mark, we owe you glass now because we broke your house and we didn't put it in your chest. So I'm going to do him a small favor here and I'm going to repay him the glass that he owes me. So I'm just going to fill up his entire his entire thing here. Now, let's build all the way up. Oh, I don't want to die, actually. So I'm actually going to make a hole right here if I can find the exit. I'm just going to make this hole right here. And fill that up right there. Now let's use up this rest of the glass and we'll just kind of randomly place it all over. <laughs> let's let's put it all over his chicken pens here. Put a cover his chicken pens. Make sure they're nice and safe. Continue to spam this all over his windows, all over his door. And uh, he's just gonna have to he's just gonna have to clean this up now. So they made me waste a full three four hours of my life rebuilding my shop so you know what Kyle you are going to uh, enjoy the glass that I'm giving you right here it's kind of randomly placing it everywhere oh geez this is gonna be amazing so uh, after I've, I'm done with the glass I don't think I'm gonna go I'm, I'm gonna take a not I'm not gonna take it a step too far and I'm gonna actually just go and grab a, like go to Jack's house and borrow some wool from him and then I will uh, Place some water at the bottom of his mine shaft and see if he falls for it. But it's not going to actually be water. 
you know what let's let's write him a message guys let's write him a message um let's write it let's write it in the sky oh this is gonna be a little bit dangerous do i have a bucket with me no i do not let's uh let's see all right let's forget the water bucket or let's forget the water idea we're gonna make a water bucket really quickly here let's go see if we could get into here real quick instead of breaking through everything we're gonna grab a water bucket in case we fall uh we won't die hopefully so let's grab let's go into i see a little water source over there let's grab this water source so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into the sky and I'm going to mine and leave him a message. I'm going to leave him a message in the sky. What should I say in the sky, guys? What should I say? I should say, I should say your move. Oh, God. That's just asking for a prank to be committed on me. But you know what? We're going to go with it. All right. So let's, uh, let's head up on into the sky here. I'm going to place, where did my, where did my, where did the water go? Did I pick it? What the heck? It just glitched and I didn't get any water at all. That's so weird. All right, let me grab this water again. So since he pranked me first, I pranked him back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to antagonize him and see if he'll prank us again. And if he pranks us again, guys, we are going to take it like full blown step further. And we are just going to see how much havoc we can wreak uh, with his little with his little farm here so I'm gonna set that there so that'll start to flow out hopefully there we go and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up here let's build this here and then we're gonna go straight up we're gonna go halfway up into the sky and uh, hopefully we're gonna I'm gonna kinda just plan this out as I go guys once again I don't this I'm just going on the fly nobody needs to we shouldn't have to plan stuff like this alright so let's go out, step out here and uh, if we're going to say your move, we're going to have to make a Y. So let's imagine a Y. Um, this is going to be the, let's, let's make this the base of the Y. No, 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 not this. Let's go, let's go here. And then we're going to make the base of the Y here. So let's uh, imagine a Y. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, one. I gotta really be careful with mining this because it is I do have a really strong pickaxe one two all right here you go there's a Y there's one of the Y's Y this might be a little bit too big actually but you know what? let's just go with it we have enough netherrack to cover us we have enough netherrack to support our project so there's Y oh all right let's finish off this Y here jump up Doom, doom. There's, there's a Y. So we're going to say your move. Oh, this isn't centered. All right, so we're going to probably have to move on over a little bit to the right side, as you guys can see here. Um, all right, let's move on over this way. We're going to move, like, way over because your move is a pretty long eight-letter word, right? Y-O-U-R-M-O-V-E. Yes, eight eight-letter word. So we're going to move on over here. All right, let's start the Y here. One, all right, one, bam, bam, oops, all right, we're going to make it, we're going to make it just small lettering, so he'll just have to, he'll have to wait, work his way up here, why, all right, now we get, let's space it between like this, and then here's the middle of the O, so it's going to be, uh, let's go here, O, oops, Remove that block. O. Uh. 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 Y. O. So we're going to try to spell your move, guys. So we're going to antagonize Kyle a little bit here and see if he'll take the bait in order to uh, see if he'll prank us again. Y. O. Now we need a Y. O. U. We need a U. So kind of similar shape. Uh, just an open ended top, basically. So here we go. There's that. There's the that side of the U. Now let's make this a two wide. No, about about the same. So uh, I need to I need to go actually go down here. I'm gonna make myself a small platform down here. So when I'm breaking this at the very very end, I can just jump down there and not have to worry about falling or having to build back up here in order to finish this lettering. So Y O. Let's break this. 
O. Uh, U. So Y O U. And then we need an R. So the har R's are honestly the hardest letter to make on Minecraft, guys. I don't know why I cannot make a good looking R ever. So let's see if I can uh, switch my luck here. Still got lots of stacks of netherrack, as you guys can see. So we should be okay. Y O U. So let's break this. And now we have to make an R. So let's imagine an R a little bit uh, like this, maybe. Oh, I need to go down. Wait, no, I'll just do this and break that. And let's see if I could do this. Add this here. Your. Oh my god, that looks terrible. All right, let's extend this one and do that. Your. There you go. That's a decent looking R. If I had a. If I could make a half slab, I would. But I obviously don't have half, half slabs for netherrack. So we're just going to kind of work with it here your so there's my r there's my ugly looking r but it'll have to do for the meantime so your and then all we got to do now is put move m o v e uh, let's actually go down a layer let's do that that'll actually be a lot smarter your is it centered it's not really centered but you know what we're going to take it y o u r actually i might want to add another let's add another cornerstone block here all right we we're going to need to go lower as uh, we can't reach that from this level. So, boom, jump down, mine this, mine this. Y, oh, your, and then we're going to move on over back here, I guess. So, one, two, I don't need to extend that R. That R looks fine for the meantime. Y, oh, you. We might actually even have to go lower than this because we're, we're going to have to make an M, and M takes a decent amount of room. But we'll try it before we move up. So, wait, one more block this way. Um. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go down a couple blocks. So let's go down a couple blocks, mine this stuff back up, and uh, we'll move on over a like another layer down. So we'll make it like a two let two layer or two level. Oh no! Oh geez. Okay, so that was a waste of. St freaking material right there so let's climb back up you know what we can stagger the lettering under a little bit so we said that this is that was a little too tall so let's try it right here uh, let's build out a little bit and we need to write move so M this is gonna be the M right here So as you guys can see, I'm trying to imagine it as I go, as I didn't really pre-plan this. So this is one, two, three, four blocks tall. So this has to be at least four blocks tall too. So let's break this. So here's our building platform right now. We can probably break this. M is going to look like something like this. We're going to break this here. We're going to put another block there. Break that. And... Um, something up here break this one. Oh God break that um, like so so there's our M it's a little bit crooked but you know what who cares right as long as we get the message across we'll be good to go so um, let me see what it looks like if we do this there that actually looks a lot better M now one space we'll make another O here O There's our O. Now we gotta make a V. And then the last letter is an E, and we should be good to go. Alright, now I have to really, really be careful here. As you guys can see, there's no there's no, I'm gonna put a torch here just in case so I don't know no some mobs like randomly spawn up here. So your move M O. And then we have to do a V. So let's do a like a diagonal pattern. One, two, three. So it's gonna look like Let's try this a little bit. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out, but we'll kind of just roll with it. Uh, let's put that there. Put this. Um, I'm going to need a block to connect this. Oops, not a torch. Like this. So there's going to be a V. Maybe mine this. Um, let's see how we can make this. V is really complicated. I hate it. It's hard to make letterings with uh with straight. Oh god. 
with, with straight lettering like this, I thought I fell right there. All right, so let's just let's just mirror this, see if this turns out good. Payback is sweet. Payback is sweet. All right. Does that look like a V, guys? That looks like a V to you. Let's let's remove this and put it here. Let's try this. Y O M O V. Let's fill this in. Maybe that'll make it look like a V. Nope, I think the first one looked better. We'll just leave it out like that. Um, M O V. Last letter is an E. Let me grab more netherrack. E to stake, and we will finish up this prank on Kyle. Hopefully, he learns his lesson and doesn't prank me again. So, let's mine this back. Oops. Oh, there we go. That actually that actually helped. There we go. That's a V. No. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to tell, guys. It's hard to tell which one I like. All right, let's finish off this lettering here, and we'll be good to go. So E is gonna be like this. Uh, layer up like this. Oh, I made this a little bit wrong, but whatever. This this last letter E shouldn't be too bad, as long as we get that message across, right, guys? Not 100% perfect. But you know what? We got to get off. We got to get off before we, we risk him seeing us here. So let me quickly mine all of the stuff. So he's going to have to build up here himself. And then, yeah. So this, there we go, guys. There's the prank. I'm going to step away from... I'm going to step away. Oh, no. Yes, I got it. I'm going to step away from his house here a little bit. And uh, hopefully we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see if we can... Uh, see if the message looks very clear from a distance so let's grab this water bucket so take up all of our sources so they don't see anything let's jump down this waterfall here right before oops i missed it oh i got it and let us see what the message looks like let's see if it's legible and if we can read it we'll uh, we'll call it a successful successful mission your move oh god that looks crazy <laughs> Oh, I messed up on the E. All right, guys, I'm going to fix that E off of camera, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. This might have been a little bit of a long one. I'm not really quite positive. Anyways, thank you guys for enjoying. If you guys have any more ideas for any pranks, if you guys want me to pr prank a specific person, leave it in the comment sections below. And once again, this is D Field, Datawood, your move, and we will see you guys later.